loud. Hey there, this is Steven. It is Tuesday. And uh, today is photography. So on Tuesdays, I like to look at art. And today we're going to talk about telling a story with a photo. So let's hop right on into it. Okay, so our projects are set up this way. We want you to be able to do them from home with household materials. We want to make them flexible for kindergarten through 12th grade and want to adjust them for your age range. I want it to be able to cover all academic subjects. I want you to be able to ask the question to guide you when you do your project. What is interesting to me and what am I curious about? This is designed for children with special needs and it's meant to be parent friendly. Here's kind of the setup. We do this five days a week. So Monday is word of the week. Tuesday is an art focus. Wednesday is a speech focus. Thursday is movies and Friday is music. So every day come back to this channel. There'll be a short project, easy to do and you can do it. Alrighty, keep it and move in. Okay, the goals for our art day is to introduce you to an artist. Then I want you to be able to tie it to math, science, language, arts, or history, create an art piece, and then maybe get a little more curious with an extension activity. All right, what you're going to need today, you've got your phone, got your Android, you got your iPhone. Also, you can use your computer as well to help you out with some of the research. This is Adriana Lestido. She is our artist today. She is a photographer. Here's a little bit about her. She was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina in 1955. Themes in her art are women in society, and she emphasizes relationships, mothers, daughters. That is what she emphasizes in her art. Her art has been shown in Spain, France, and Argentina. And she's also known for taking black and white photos. So that's what she worked in. She worked with black and white photos. And that is what uh, Adriana worked with in her career. And if you would look up her paintings, not her paintings, if you were to look at her artwork or photography, you would see that all of it would be black and white. And she was the first Argentinian woman to win a Guggenheim grant. And a Guggenheim grant are fellowships that have been awarded since 1925 by the John Simon Guggenheim Memorial Foundation. And what they say is to those who have demonstrated exceptional capacity for productivity, scholarship, or exceptional creative ability in the arts. So it's a very prestigious award. And she was the first woman in her country to receive that award. And here is one of her images. And what you can see here, it is in black and white, as we noticed before. It is also a woman, and the woman is holding a baby, a newborn. And when you look at this picture, maybe you can ask yourself some questions about it. What do you notice? Well, you notice that the mother has tattoos. You notice the background, the wall, and the wall is a little bit uh, broken up a little bit. The, the woman has, maybe she has a black eye, or maybe she has bags under her eyes. You know, these are the types of questions that you can ask, and then you can try to answer them. And the, the artist is trying to use the photos to tell a story about a woman and her relationship with her daughter, and the type of situation and environment that she could be living in at the time. All right, so here are our projects and our extension activities. Take a picture of something inside of your home, and then you can write three to five sentences telling a short story about that image you took a picture of. You can do research. You can research Argentina. You can research France. You can research Spain. You can find out some facts about 1955. You can look up who was the president of the United States in 1955, and many other activities that you could use to extend this image taking project. So when you're finished, go ahead and mail it to me at sthompson at elmansor.org and go out and create and have fun creating and exploring new artists who take photos. Anyway, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.